From CBS News Bay Area, this is the Morning Edition. Good morning, it is Friday. Thanks for joining us, September 8th. Let's get started. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Is that what this is? Check your kids' social media, moms and dads. Bay Area parents and teachers do a double take over a viral hot take on eating chips. Where are the eyes and the ears that's going on out here? Your community station with a community problem asking for a solution. A San Francisco police plan to fill hundreds of jobs. When I look at this wall, what I see is people that have gained confidence. Bay Area Bounce Back. We're live in San Jose where an eye on entertainment going into the weekend shows how theater helps drive kids and brings in cash to communities. I was thinking to myself, like, you know what? I gotta do something different. And speaking of a bounce back, how a San Jose taco maker folds something big into his town, bringing in business from all over the Bay. And can you feel that on a Friday? That is the world cheering on Coco. Powering her way into the first U.S. Open final as we power you through a Bay Area Friday morning. Good morning, everybody. Peace, love, and really big tacos in San Jose. <laughs> That's what we're about on a Friday. I'm Reed Cowling. I'm Gianna Franco. We are officially hungry, and I'm sure everyone after seeing <laughs> just the tease, wait till you see that whole story, is starving too now. Yeah, I'm Nicole Zalimus. I don't eat carbs, but that may force me to eat <laughs> carbs. Jessica Birch, are you eating Mexican food tonight? I kind of want to after just seeing that highlight. I mean, that story is going to be a great one. Let's head along the coast real fast where daytime highs today are going to be sitting nice and mild. All week long, the weather has been cooperating with us. I'm starting off with the coast today because it's a beautiful place to go heading into this weekend setup. Upper 60s today along there. We're going to continue to see those cloudy skies all throughout our morning forecast. Watch what happens as I advance the clock just around lunchtime. That marine layer really starts to dissipate. We're seeing those coastal clouds kind of become a thing of the past, really. We're going to see sunnier skies into this afternoon just in time for dinner time and widespread throughout the Bay Area. We can share that love with all that sunshine, even down into San Jose, where later this afternoon, we're actually going to be warming up into the 80s. We're starting off in the 50s and 60s all throughout the Santa Clara Valley this morning, 70s just by lunchtime. Speaking of tacos, Reed, and all, all the way into the afternoon we go. We're actually going to be sitting in the 80s for our daytime highs in San Jose and all throughout the Santa Clara Valley. That'll be the same trend off into the East Bay today. High pressure is building its way in. That warms us up just a hair more, and it dries us up, too, off in those east inland areas. Keep that in mind. Still cool and cloudy along the coast. And daytime highs today, they're going to be beautiful, even into San Francisco, where official sunrise is right around the corner. We're going to see a beautiful sunrise over the city coming up. For now, over to you, G. You mentioned the coast, Jess. It was a nice ride in and hopefully it'll be nice later on today, too. All right, Absolutely. taking a look at the roadways. And that's what the roadways look like right now, too, which is great on this Friday morning. Baybridge Toll Plaza, no metering lights and easy commute into San Francisco right now. So Friday light, that means the weekend is here. Enjoy it while you can. If you got to get up early, there's not a lot of cars out there to slow you down. Thumbs up on the Golden Gate Bridge. In fact, most of our freeways, with the exception of the Altamont, are looking great this morning. Not a lot to uh, slow you down as you work your way out of Ring County, heading into San Francisco. Now, Let's talk a little bit about public transit. There are some changes happening on a Monday for BART. I just want to give you a heads up. There will be schedule changes. So if you typically use BART for maybe your morning commute or your afternoon commute, you certainly want to check that schedule before you head out the door. We're going to talk more about this coming up in just a bit. Reed. All right, and good morning, Bay Area. We wake up this morning to more headlines trumpeting the problems of the Bay Area. And while we know there are real issues demanding real attention, there is always another side of the story happening, and we're focusing on you innovating and leading out of these doom loop headlines. From San Francisco to Oakland and our work this week in San Jose, we've been working hard to show you people finding solutions to the problems that affect your wallets and your kids' education, your health, your safety. And you know, as we go into the weekend, we are mindful of the arts in San Jose as part of the economic driver there. We're with the Children's Musical Theater of San Jose, and Sean Chitness is live this morning at the Musical Theater with the teachers and the student students showing their belief in San Jose through art. Good morning, my friend. Hey, Reed, good morning. Yeah, it's an amazing tradition that they've had here, but they've only been in the building behind me for a few years. And so with COVID having to move in the middle of the pandemic, that just presented a new version of the same old challenge, trying to bring families together and give kids opportunities that they wouldn't otherwise have.
Artistic director Kevin Hauge has maintained a clear mission for the Children's Musical Theater in almost 30 years of leading the organization. I always worry about young people who have this seed inside of them. And the fact is, is can we help water them so that they can find their true destiny? And CMT has a record of doing just that. It's history on display in their main hallway. What stands out to you? What do you most take away from what's on the walls? What I take away is if you look in some of the pictures, you'll see people that are young. And if you really know what you're looking at, you'll see them 10 years later. And you can really remember the journey that they've taken. Staff at CMT work hard all year to make sure the quality of each production shines with each performance. They're already hard at work building sets for the next production in the 2023-24 season. It's very gratifying to see the finished product. It's sometimes weeks or months before I see that, so you just kind of grind through it. But it's, it's a lot of fun to work every day with your hands. And while some of their alumni have made it to Broadway, that's never the goal. It's helping them to get a starring role in whatever future they choose. We are every bit as proud of our... Uh, doctors and our lawyers and our architects. When I look at this wall, what I see is people that have gained confidence and skills and have gone on to great careers in just about every field you could possibly imagine. And so this fall will be the 56th season that they have here at CMT and a great mix of stories that they'll be telling, modern versions of uh, Mean Girls in terms of the types of musicals that are more new and fresh, as well as the classics like Rent. Guys, back to you. All right, Sean, thank you. Uh, this high pressure builds in. We're gonna, this is speaking my language. I know. Dream. This is something I am very passionate yeah. about when it comes to arts and mm -hmm. seeing kids find that dream. And it's so cool that there's been something in the South Bay for 56 years doing that. Right, and you know, if you don't know Gianna, she is really that mom who makes sure her kids are every practice, every rehearsal, every performance. She's the mom who's off to the side making it happen. And so you know about the cultures of moms and dads that pour into their investment and their time into San Jose arts and culture and what it does for a community. Yeah, well, and thank you for saying that, but it really, really is. And sometimes kids, when they find that thing they love, you just gotta support it as much as possible. Love it. It's great. Thank you for that.